All right, so today is going to be a follow-up video from yesterday's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on the global side team building guide. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Omega Shenron crashing Maelstrom Omega Shenron. Uh, the leader abilities are currently not available on the global side. I know this has been a big discussion, a big debate whether these cards are good or not. Uh, personally, again, if you didn't see my last video, it, I think they're both good banners. I think you should pull on them. My personal preference is this card, the Omega Shenron that we have over here. I like him over the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but I'm not saying I don't like the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, unfortunately, the community thinks that that uh, Bandai has screwed us over for not giving us the leader abilities, and I I can understand the the frustration there. I, I'm a little bit upset too because I feel like they should have just given us the secondary half of the leader ability, like you know the 50% stat buff with HP, attack, and defense. Because there are some of us who don't have the you know mono type leads, and having that might would have been really good. It wouldn't have been too much for them to go and add the additional leader ability. But anyway, that, that's a different topic in itself. Today we're talking about a team building guide for Omega Shenron on the global side before he. He has his leader ability so if you're watching this in a year when he has his leader ability well this video is really not going to be too relevant for you um so first things first super attack minus energy power ball it call he does immense damage to the enemy and greatly he lowers his enemy's defense again greatly lowering the enemy defense is not you know as practical for use if you're not going up against like a broly type of event but overall i mean he does the buff the enemy which will make the enemy get hit a little bit harder which is cool but he does have immense damage his passive skill is minus ener uh, energy of evil attack plus 100 120%. Now, you guys already know how hard Merge Zamasu hits and how hard the full power Frieza hits. On top of the 120%, he gives himself 150% 12 key multiplier, guys. So, he's hitting harder. <laughs> you know, this guy is, is going to be hitting harder than full power Frieza and Merge Zamasu. Um, any all enemies he debuffs all the enemies with attack and defense minus 20% so just for him being there on the field the enemy is getting attack debuffed now it's not what his other uh, strength counterpart is but it's still overall it's still a pretty good unit it it doesn't make him too OP he also is guaranteed an additional attack and it has a chance to become a super attack now that's not that great overall it's not that great it's actually more of a time consumption but he's doing additional damage you know you can go and throw crits on him and when he gets all when he does get off the super attack it you know and he crits on it it's just that much better you know i think it, it raises the uh, bit, the chance of him critting if he gets a double super attack anyway well he's getting a double attack anyway but it raises the chance that he's going to crit on one of those if, if it's a super attack um overall he's a good unit and he has some really freaking crazy stats guys hp of twelve thousand nine hundred just on his base system when he's at a level 120. 11,000 attack and 5,300 defense. That is a nuts, nuts stat. For a physical unit, he's great. Remember, physical units are tanks. All of them are really tanks, especially when the physical core comes out with the 120 lead. Um, he's going to run, and that's another thing to state there. Uh, if we follow, if Global follows the JP side, the, the physical core should be right around the corner. Honestly, I think it might come by the end of this month, but I, I, again, I don't know. Uh, this is just speculation at this point, but it, it's probably going to come at the end of the month. Either, if not the end of the month, the beginning of September. But anyway, overall, really good unit. I personally like him over the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, I like who he is as a character. I like him in the game. Uh, and if you end up pulling the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you can run this card as a leader with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in that team. So in the future, he's going to be... Well, you could have him as your leader with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Anyway, um, his max dupe system, just look at this crap. Uh, HP is 14,900, an attack of 13,000, defense of 7,350, of just base dupe system without any dupes involved. Uh, you know, then once he gets a dupe system involved, he's freaking crazy. 18,000 HP, 16,000 attack, and almost 10,000 defense. It's, it, it's crazy. This guy is insane. So overall, him as a unit, very good unit. Very, very good unit. You know, I went and created this team chart over here, uh, as you're seeing on my screen. Uh, I really like this team that I built. It's just a, it's a, it basically you're running a double merge of Masu key plus one HP attack and defense plus 70% lead, uh, just because of the amount of link skills that are available. So first off, you're going to want your Rose and your merge of Masu link together because you're only getting key plus uh, two to start with. So they link very well together. They give each other, I believe it was four key, a uh, three key. So fear and faith and dismal future. So they give each other three key. So that's key plus five when they start plus remember rose gives key plus three so that's five six seven eight so they're starting off at eight key you just need four in order to launch super attacks a little bit more viable maybe once in a blue moon one of them won't get a super attack off but overall they should be able to um that shouldn't be a problem and then on the opposite end uh that you're going to want to keep these two together sin shenron and omega shenron they give each other four key 
a plus two, so that's six keys starting out. Um, unfortunately, you don't have anyone giving each other key buffs uh, through a passive skill. They're both just attack buffs, uh, and the buffing the enemy on top of that, they're just mostly a defense, though, other than Omega's attack to buff. But, um... And that's where the next card comes into play. First off, we're probably going to have a double merge the monster, so he's not going to give anything. So that means every once in a while, your Sin Shenron is not going to be getting off a super attack. Uh, just because, let's see over here if this wants to work for me. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, Fear and Faith key plus two. So six key, it's going to be seven, eight key for your Omega Shenron. Um, so that way he can get his uh, super attacks off. So you're going to want Omega Shenron in the middle, and then you're going to have your Merge Zamasu on the rotation so that way they can connect and give each other... Let me mix, mix do this because this might be a little bit confusing. Uh, so that way when they're, like when he's on rotation, he hits him off, he gives him another two key, then Omega's going to get his super attack off over his Sin Shenron counterpart. The one thing you're not going to have to worry about is if you have a Goku Black, because remember he by default gives everybody key plus three uh, just for being out on the field, so everyone's going to get the additional key buff. And Janemba pretty much links with everyone for an additional two key um some there there are some more but for the most part he is attack buffs and he is key buffs so is just a really overall good linking buddy and he is an overall tank so he's really good just to have on rotation because he's just there to, to absorb hits and to give key off key and attack links off uh, but overall, I really like this team. The other option is you could just do a double Rosé lead that'll give you an additional two key to start off with. So these guys will all inherently be starting off with a key. And then when someone like uh, Black comes along or Janemba, they'll just be giving even additional more key. Um, you can do that. It'll knock 20% off all of, all of the units overall. Uh, I, I don't think you need it. But if you want to make sure that everyone's getting super attacks off, and by everyone I specifically mean, I really think the only person who's going to have a problem is going to be that Sin Shenron. Uh, but outside of that, I think you're going to be good. Or you could run a double merge the monster lead, and I had to pick out a couple cards for key, for key support. Well, obviously the Goku Black, which... I already told you about. But then you also have the Demon King Piccolo. Uh, not really uh, that great of a unit, but he gives Extreme Types key plus three, and he buffs their attack. So you know how that is when you when you have an attack buff uh, on a rotational unit. Overall, more damage will get done, so he might be a little bit more viable than that Janemba if you want to run him. He just doesn't... I mean, he has Nightmare, which is cool. It's just... That's really it. He has Nightmare. <laughs> um, and then the other one is going to be the Turles. And Turles is a little bit more uh, a little bit more viable, I guess. Yeah, he does have Prepared for Battle, which is good for Rosé, though he doesn't really need it. He has Big Bad Bosses, so he has those two. But he gives Key plus 3 and Attack plus 20% for all allies. So, I mean, ideally, if you're just looking for the Attack buffs on the passive and the Key, you could run both of these in place of Goku Black and Janemba, just because um, they're going to be giving the, uh, the Attack buff overall. Uh, I don't know who would actually do more damage having Goku Black, there, I think it, it would actually turn out to be more damage having Turles and uh, Demon King Piccolo together uh, just because they're giving everyone else the additional attack, but I don't know. I don't have the actual numbers for you. Uh, the next team we're going to go ahead and talk about is going to be the Mono Team. Now, as you see over here, there's a lot of convoluted crap over here, uh, and that's just because of all the different viabilities. I, I really like a Mono Physical Team. Unfortunately, there's just so much that you can run on a mono physical team uh, that it's hard to choose just two, well, six characters total that you want to run. Um, overall, this is assuming you have the 70% Broly because we do not have any 90% leads. I know, guys, not, not a lot of you guys are fans of Broly. Um, I, I do have an argument behind him not being a viable unit in the game if you have other Brolies, but he's not a bad unit. He's just, he's just the least rated out of all of the 70% leaders, and if you have LR Broly, there's really you know no other reason for you to run him, unless you're trying to do a mono-physical team with double you know heroes and villains. That's probably going to be the only time he comes into play until there's a 90% leader, uh, but overall, he does have a very, very good team, and if you give him crits... He is going to be doing a lot of damage, and I think the damage calculations came out to over a million if he gets a, um, a double crit. Double crit with um, max dupe system comes out to over a million. Uh, so overall, he's not, you know, he's he's a decent, he can be a decent unit if you if you treat him right. Um, but overall, we're going to run a double um, a double Super Saiyan Broly team. Uh, you're going to have him, and you're going to want to link him with uh, Super Vegito Blue, because they do share some decent link skills. Uh, that way they can get off their super attacks. Uh, it's Jeez, come on, buddy. Um, attack plus 10%, attack plus 15%. So 25% just from the Fierce Battle and Super Saiyan. And they give each other prepared for battle. So <clears throat> you have that. Plus, remember, he uh, Super Vegito Blue also is a tank. So you're going to want to run him just a tank encounter. Uh, obviously, like we said before, the six the, the, the guys who share six key links together, um, or six, six link skills together, Omega and um, Sin Shenron. And then over here is really a variety 
of different people you can run um, that are going to be a little more awful. Now, Frieza is just for attack because he does he has an immense damage modifier. And he does attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. So overall, he's a really decent, hard-hitting unit. Especially if you have that super attack 10, like me, I have him at super attack 10, full dupe system, 100% dupe system. He's really good. I'm probably going to always run him on a physical team. Now, I really like this Kid Boo. I, I never really ran him. I still have him there. Um, his passive skill is really what I like about him. Attack and defense plus 50%. He just makes everyone tank everything and makes everyone hit hard, so hard. Only thing that's down about it is HP is 80% or above. So there, you have to make sure you have full health. But if everyone's tanking on this team, you really won't have a problem. He also has big bad bosses and fierce battle. So, you know, that's, that's a plus right there. So he does have a couple of good link skills for attack buffing. Um, the, the, the big bad boss is only going to come in handy really with the Omega and the Sin. Uh, outside of that, you have the Goku Black who's going to give everyone key. So that's a benefit right there. So that yeah, passive skill, uh, extreme type key plus three. So he's actually not going to give it to the super units, but he will always have at least one person he's giving key to because if you're going to have him on rotation, he's going to give it to Broly. And if you, when he's on the other rotation, he's going to be giving it to everyone himself and uh, Sin Shenron and Omega Shenron. And last but not least that I could talk about, um, well, there's actually one more, uh, is going to be the Super Kaioken Goku. If you pulled him, his passive skill is key plus three, attack plus 100%, which he's very self-reliant, which is cool. But it's just that he has shocking speed over in a flash and fierce battle. So he's going to be hitting off a lot of links. Uh, I thought he had prepared, yeah, he does have prepared for battles, the first one. So he's going to be hitting off a lot of links for everyone that's here. So that's, that's cool. Um, and then the last but not least, you do have the pen who has the passive skill for attack and defense plus 30% for all allies when HP is 30% or above, which is also very viable, very doable. So you have a lot of options for a really good team. I mean, honestly, and some of these characters are still, this is just the transcendent ultra rares. I'm not even going over the SSRs right now. I mean, hell, you even have Bardock in there, which I'm actually going to mention. He's, uh, he is in here for key plus two and a sealer. So that's really good, but we're going to talk about that in a second. Oh, we want to reopen that closed tab. Oh, I might have uh, closed out of that. Anyway, so overall, that's all the good units that you're going to want to run on that team. You do have some support units. You can, I already talked about the Goku Black for Extreme Type Ski plus 3. Um, you have this Aiming for the Top Super Saiyan 2 Goku, who gives everyone uh, Physical Types Ki plus 2. So he's going to be he's not as ideal because he's not giving attack buff, but he's giving Ki, so that way everyone get off super attacks. Uh, and you have the Bardock, which also does Ki plus 2, and he seals on a physical team. You want If he seals and your opponent is sealed, assuming they can't uh they can be sealed then everyone's going to be tanking everything because it's going to be normal attacks and then like i mentioned before well that was what i mentioned before then you also have a key lead that is our key lead a key passive of a unit that is free to play inception of evil super saiyan goten possessed gt from the baby event he gives all physical types key plus three so overall guys um very very good unit very good team i really like this team i know you can't see anything right now because i accidentally closed out of the tab but this is a freaking phenomenal team. I would highly recommend it. And that's why I like the Omega Shenron. Because it physical is my favorite team to run. Uh, I really would like the Gotenks and the Korra. But I'm probably going to stick with the Korra when he comes out. Uh, but that's it guys. I hope that was very helpful. I hope that was informative. This is why I like it. There's just a lot of variety i mean hell i didn't even mention the orale that can be put in there um the trunks i mean there's just so much you can do here but anyway guys thank you for joining me here today i hope that was informative and helpful for you i know i just said that but thank you hit that subscribe button if you're new and i'll catch you guys later